I had a very gracious call from the President of the United States, who told me that he had decided to use uh, his extraordinary powers uh, of clemency to commute my sentence, at what he called a full commutation of my sentence. You heard him, longtime Trump ally Roger Stone was scheduled to head to prison next week, but a last minute move by the president is making him a free man, an action that has critics saying there's a separate justice system for the president's friends. Lauren Blanchard explains what's next from Washington. And I think Roger Stone was very unfairly treated, as were many people. Friday evening, President Trump commuting Roger Stone's sentence. The White House saying in a statement that Stone maintains his innocence, is a victim of the Russia hoax, and plans to be fully exonerated by the justice system. Quote, Roger Stone has already suffered greatly. He was treated very unfairly, as were many others in this case. Roger Stone is now a free man. It comes just days ahead of Stone's scheduled date to report to federal prison for his more than three-year sentence for obstruction, witness tampering, and lying to Congress. I am praying for justice. I am praying for mercy. But I've got to be honest with you, it's in God's hands. Stone has openly asked President Trump to grant clemency. Stone had also asked a federal court to delay his prison time because of the pandemic, but late Friday that request was denied. The commutation of the sentence doesn't eliminate his conviction, but now it will erase Stone's jail time. And at 67 years old, with some underlying health problems, including a history of asthma, I believe with the coronavirus, it is essentially a death sentence. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff saying, quote, with this commutation, Trump makes clear that there are two systems of justice in America, one for his criminal friends and one for everyone else. Stone's attorney says Stone is honored by the president's decision. He calls it an act of mercy. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.